The uh, food here is terrific. Uh, Moe's is a nice place to come and eat here downtown. And Mo is uh, a, a great guy. You'll love the tacos. Hi, my name is Lincoln. Um, I'm 13 years old and I'm Laura Kane's founder and executive director of Marshmallows Hope Sun. And um, my mom started Marshmallows Hope when my 14 year old brother died from suicide and uh, on September 16th, 2018. And um, yeah. Yeah. And so you have been, obviously, you have watched Marshmallows Hope evolve to what it is now. How did we start Marshmallows? Do you remember what we used to do with kids? Um, we would go and mentor kids and take them to restaurants, bowling, flow, other sorts of places. And yeah, we would, I think at one point she mentored 16 kids, right? Yeah. Yep. All That's awesome. by herself and me. Yeah. Cool. Float. I've never been there. It seems like a cool place. Is that like the, the trampoline park? Yeah. The indoor yeah. trampolines? Yep. Yep. Cool. What's the favorite uh, field trip or excursion, whatever you guys call it uh, so far, or top three? I think, yeah, just going to like parks, dinner, just eat lunch and stuff. Parks, dinner, eat lunch and stuff. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I know kids you're, love that. I, don't know, yeah. I mean, kids love to eat. Who doesn't love food, right? It's, yeah, you're growing. Like you know, you're you're, uh, you're you're like, it's hard to like physically grow taller. I've been trying for years, and this is as tall as I can get. And I've been eating as much food as humanly possible, and it's not working anymore. Yeah. Um. So cheesy jokes aside, um, for the for the people that might tune out early and not watch the the full episode, the 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 quick you know cut to the chase. What what's the fastest easiest way for people to help move the dial forward with Marshmallows Hope and get involved? Or I think for the most part, just following and staying active with your social media channels is the easiest way. That way, instead of people paying can Candy Crush or something, they can do something worthwhile and valuable to their local community. I'll I'll let you kind of explain, and you could talk to that camera right there or okay. whichever one yeah is that the one well yeah. so um i mean definitely follow us on social media share our messages uh, mental health is such an important topic and it is not talked about enough um, so i think that how we come together as a society to break the stigma is to talk about it and so the more that we share the message of hope and the message that if you are struggling you don't have to struggle alone then um the more that we can actually you know help people not have to suffer in silence so i think that that's that's the greatest way that i can ask people to support us is to share our mission um, to talk about their own struggles and to normalize and understand that mental health is just as important as physical health so absolutely and uh, you, you mentioned something about uh, suffering in silence I think Shatter Our Silence is Kevin Polkey's thing. Mm -hmm. yep. And Kevin's kind of an in integral component of Marshmallow's Hope, or at least uh, some type of uh, kind of relationship that you want to speak on, Shatter Our Silence and Kevin. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So um, I sit on the board of Shatter Our Silence. Shatter Our Silence um, was founded by Kevin Polkey um, for the same, same reason, right? I lost my 14-year-old son to suicide. Well, when Kevin's son was in high school, he lost three classmates to suicide. And it was a very small school, so it greatly affected all of the students in the school. So what Kevin does through Shatter Our Silence is he offers education on um, young adult suicide risk and um, how to better support, right, how to validate people who are struggling. Um, and, and so I've learned that education is the key to prevention. Um, and so it's it's an incredible cost. They actually have a um, an event coming up, a dinner event on September nineteenth. It's going to be at the um, Prairie Street Brew House. Oh, awesome! Yeah. Um, and so you know, if you are not familiar with Shatter Our Silence, please come out and support. Um, and then as far as marshmallows, we have a couple of events also coming up. Um, we have an open house. So we're getting ready to launch our very own IOP program, which is an intensive outpatient program. Okay. Is it, that partnered with Rosecrans or something? Or? Well, no, that portion of it is not. So, um, Sorry. no, 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 it's totally okay. Um, 
That portion of it is not, but we are actually partnering with Rosecrans for a state program called the Pathways Program. Um, essentially, if a child is very high risk for suicide or very high risk, they get put through, and they and they are Medicaid kids, mm -hmm. um, they get put through this Fastway Pathways Program to where they get referred to Rosecrans. Rosecrans will do the clinical portion of their assessments, and then they'll come to Marshmallows Hope for mentorship and parent peer support. Um, so really, we're coming together as a community, right? Rosecrans and Marshmallows Hope, um, they're the big dogs in town, right? Yeah. We're the little guys, but we're actually coming together. For now, together. <laughs> <laughs> for now before it yeah. becomes like Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> they walk it through the streets of Rockford. Sorry. Can you imagine? No. Um, no, but it, I mean, it's been an incredible experience, and I just wish that more organizations in our community could take that prime example of yeah. collaboration because we can um, better serve the people who are struggling and the families who really need our support with absolutely you know absolutely. we we all can't do everything even rosecrans right like even rosecrans can't mm -hmm. do it all and so that's why they've partnered with with someone like us um to be able to like fill those little gaps that are extremely important to saving somebody's life yeah because that's where it happens when people fall through the cracks mm -hmm. like you need the crack sealant, uh, but you know, I, I'm all about fun and uh, elevating the experience for folks. So, yeah. um, Prairie Street Brew House is the next event, September nineteenth. Yep, and yeah. it that's for like SOS. A fun, great event for SOS. Uh, yep. do, do you have the the big like ballroom area rented out? I honestly don't know. I I want to say yes, but I honestly okay. don't know I'm which hoping part. So. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. talk to Kevin, see what we can do to elevate and make the even, yeah. even more engaging and fun for folks. And yeah. and then the next uh, Marshmallows Hope event was when and where? So uh, September to remind people. Yep, you want to go ahead. It's September sixteenth, the ribbon cutting event. Oh, that's before. Yeah. yeah, in se September September sixteenth. Yeah, oh, okay. so okay. Zachary. Um, that's coming up. So yeah, we'll be here soon. So the reason why we chose September 16th is um, Zachary ended his own life by suicide on September 16th. And so what a greater way to commemorate his legacy and his life than to open this intensive outpatient program in honor of him. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then October 11th, we are going to have a Music for Hope event at Union in Rockford. Um, and it's featuring Miles Nielsen and the Rusted Hearts. So awesome. we're super, super excited for that. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You can't stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I've been a huge fan of Miles for a long time. And yeah. so to actually have him doing an event with us, that's mm -hmm. super cool. Yeah, we'll have to do some, some promos to, to elevate and uh, spread awareness. Yeah. Um, tell us a detail or two about the uh, grand opening is what it's being called. Yep. Yeah, so um, we um, have been graciously blessed. So in Winnebago County, there's a half cent for mental health tax. And so because That's it? it's it's half, half, of half a, a cent of every dollar that you spend in Winnebago County goes into this mental health fund. And so each year, the half cent for mental health is able to raise about $20 million that gets put back into the community for mm -hmm. initiatives like Marshmallows Hope, um, who, you know, service... Uh, mental health initiatives. And so we have been blessed with um, funding from the Winnebago County Mental Health Board that allowed us to purchase a building for $750,000. Um, we were able to purchase the building outright. Awesome. And because of that, um, we also received funding for the intensive outpatient program. So like mm. essentially... You know, since we've been running Marshmallows Hope, we, again, started out as a mentorship program. Then we stepped it up into mental health outpatient counseling. But then there was still this gap, like when kids needed a higher level of care, whether they needed to be hospitalized or not, there was nowhere in the region that we could send them. And we were having yeah. to ship kids out of state. So um, we wrote a grant um, and because of the Winnebago County and because of your you know, cont contribution as a taxpayer um, for the half cent for mental health, we were funded. And and Amazing. so that's what the grand opening is. And so, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge. I, I can see why she's excited. That's <laughs> this is incredible. Um, and the, the facility is the address you texted me on Mulford. Or, uh, uh, Temple Lane. It's off of Bell School Road. It's over literally right by Cherry Valley Mall. So okay, 1628 by the mall. Temple Lane. Cool. 
Yep. Cool. So we're by the mall. Uh, how, how large is the facility and how many uh, patients can I serve at a time? Um, or, yeah, um, I think it's two stories and there's... You're going to have to do a, a tour. In, yeah. Four, yeah. Four rooms, right? Two upstairs and two downstairs? Well, it's 77. I, it's over 7,000 square feet. Okay. And it's three stories. So um, we have the, you know. Oh, the basement. Yeah, we have a couple, a couple of therapists in the basement. So our approach is to do a holistic approach, body, mind, and soul. Mm -hmm. We use evidence-based practices like cognitive behavioral therapy, yep. dialectical behavioral therapy. Um, but we are mixing it up and teaching kids mindfulness. So through exercise, through art therapy, or or even gardening, right? We're incorporating Whoa. those things. <clears throat> this so, is cool stuff. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I believe that we'll be serving probably 700 to 750 kids this year. 7 to 750. Yeah. Um, and it, how long is the program, or at least anticipating it to be for each each child? Or so student? the intensive outpatient program is an eight-week program where kids are with us four hours a day, um, typically three days a week is okay. what we're thinking. Um we again we're still in the workings yep. of of the um what do you call it the curriculum yeah. um but the outpatient counseling we it's just a six month program so essentially we just want to be that temporary hub of stabilization when a kid is in yep. crisis they get referred to us and then we refer them to rosecrans for that long longer term mm. care so that we don't run into the wait list that our community was faced with. Yeah. Yeah. I have a good friend who, who had, a, a, had his friend, uh, had a, a crisis and, and Rose Krantz, as great as they are, they were just full. Yep. So he was waiting in the parking lot and he's like, I, I can't do anything. Like my friend needs treatment. So he waited overnight and was in the mm. parking lot over 12 hours with his friend just waiting for a bed to open up or something to happen. Yeah. So so this this is amazing groundbreaking stuff I feel and um you're looking for volunteers I'm assuming people that can lend their time and talents and energies to move the dial forward with with uh yeah, opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, but we're, you know, yes, we always especially need volunteers. qualified and skilled people. Yeah, in we, certain areas, we definitely need volunteers, but we're actually hiring. So currently, we're hiring wow. for a mentorship position, and mm -hmm. it's actually a really cool job. It's what Lincoln was describing. So tell them again what they would be doing. Um, you would be doing so. You would uh, be assigned to a kid, and then you would take the kid like one to two times a week, maybe, right? And um, you would just take them bowling to lunch, just some fun activity if. You like photography, you can teach them how to take pictures of stuff. and Maybe we can bring him to the city stage, like organize yeah. something with the guys here and yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, do a workshop, you know, once a month or whatever works for everybody. Mm -hmm. That would be super cool. Yeah. So Lincoln was seven when I started Marshmallows. Were you seven or eight? Oh, I don't eight. remember. Okay. So he was eight years old and excuse me poor little guy um I used to drag him with me. <laughs> but then it, it became actually pretty cool because he would... You know, we started out with Zach's friends, the friends that were really struggling um, and mm. trying to understand why he ended his life. Like, it, it, it came as a shock, right? Yeah. And so we started with those guys, and it was, I mean, tell them about your experience. Like, how did you feel when, when we would go and do that? Because there would be times where he would be like, hey, remember that kid? When are we going to go pick him up, you yeah. know? Yeah, it would be fun. I would enjoy it, and I would get to eat lunch and... <laughs> Go to fun places. And There's the L word again. I love lunch. Yeah. Um, All for that. Yeah, it was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, yeah, we would do it a lot, multiple times a day. It was overwhelming, but it, yeah, it was fun. Hmm. Yeah. So how does marshmallows help you? Because aside from being my kid, um, they're, you know, because of losing your brother, like you have also taken advantage of marshmallows services. Not advantage, but like marshmallows yeah. has also taken you under... You know, like you've utilized the services. So can you talk about that to them and, and tell them? Yes, I have a wonderful counselor named Caleb. Would recommend going to him. He's a wonderful counselor. I go to him once a week. Hmm. Shout um, out to Caleb. Yep. Yeah. And um, Caleb Polkey is actually Kevin yeah. Polkey's son. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So it's funny. She Super cool. Ke uh, Kevin for counseling. Yeah, I, I see Jim Johnson 
uh, at, at uh, KP. Well, now it's Four Corners. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Jim Johnson, shout out to him. I uh, I love the dude. We have so much fun in our therapy sessions. Like I, I I'm trying to convince him to figure out a loophole so I could film the sessions because yeah. they're so fun and so insightful. And I think other people would find value from my therapy sessions. But anyway, anyway, uh, shout out to Caleb. And then uh, you know, anything else you wanted to add about your your uh, sessions or whatever um. they're called? Yeah, um, aren't you planning on adding a workout room, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so she's gonna nice. make a little gym room. It's actually big, but um, Whoa. so yeah, so she's gonna. I think uh, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. We can like, I think like the counselors are gonna take them in there, right? And no way. yeah, work out. Okay. Yeah. I'm pumped up. I'm excited. I'm so excited. we're fundraising for that. We need about twenty thousand dollars to get this. For that's the, the last weight room. room. Yep. It's the last okay. room in the building that is not furnished, and we're trying to come up with funds for. Okay, and the furnishing of the weight room is like weight machines, uh, weights, treadmills. kind of stuff, treadmills, you know, ellipticals. Yep. Yep. You don't actually really need furniture. You maybe some no, chairs. No, it's just it's just the machines gym equipment. and equipment. Yep. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'm meeting yep. with uh, some some uh, local gyms that are not franchises. Okay. That. Um, they seem like cool people so far. I'm meeting with them next week, so maybe we okay. can, you know, see what overlaps, and they could donate equipment or that figure would be out to amazing, you know, get their name out there. Because, uh, yeah, yeah. like we touched on, I think it was John or, or you that said something about local businesses coming together. Yes, you know, let's let's do it. Let's collaboration. Let's yeah. figure this out. Twenty grand. That's nothing. Right. I, to me, right. in the large scheme of yeah. things, like yeah. how much is going to help people? Yep. Yeah, I mean, and we don't, if they have the equipment to donate, you know what I mean? Like, if it's a, yeah. it's, if it's a gym that's, like, switching out their equipment, like, we'd be willing to take that. Mm, that's um, a great idea, yeah. You know if what they're I mean? just doing so, an update or a rebrand or exactly, something. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, we just that's need great the equipment idea. so that we can have And then it. it's a tax write-off for them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So. Um, let's see. <laughs> Hey, Siri, remind me in two hours to reach out to Oak Strength about gym equipment. <laughs> I will forget. Okay. I, I added reach out to Oak Strength about gym equipment. <laughs> Shout out to Oak Strength. Afternoon at okay, um, so where were we? Center Frank. Um, how much physical space is left at the facility for programs? That, like, um, I, I'm obsessed with, with a, a project called Drum Dojo mm -hmm. that my wife is tired of hearing about, but I'm obsessed with Drum Dojo because... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a, a drum set is unlike any other musical instrument. You're engaged with your whole body and the way you have to be present yeah. to play a drum kit. Yeah. It's almost like rock climbing where you can't think about your problems. You get, you, you have to focus Yeah. Uh, and it builds discipline. And I have case studies and interviewed celebrity drummers about it. Long story short, uh, do you think there's any space at, at uh, the place for Drum Dojo to set up a I'm drum sure. kit? Yeah, I'm sure we could oh. definitely find some space. <laughs> oh, my wife's going to never hear the end of this. <laughs> oh, so, so I have yeah. a beautiful drum kit. Uh, uh, people love playing this thing and, uh, mm -hmm. and the microphones, cameras. So something Drum Dojo is going to be a place for people to come and go. Mm -hmm. And we could set it up uh, if, if things work out with the board, talk to them, yeah. get the approval. Uh, but it'll kind of be like this with lighting, cameras, microphones. So you just yeah. sit down, flick a switch. You could record yourself so you could study your your, pra your playing because that's how yeah. you get way better, way faster. Okay. And it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fun. Everyone has a smile on their face when they sit on behind the drum kit for the first really? time. Really? That's oh, awesome. Yeah. I would oh, love yeah. it. And I would love to incorporate music. Um, yeah. Because uh, medicine, music, yeah. music therapy. Yep. It's, oh, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. That, that's that what saved me. Cool. That's my personal story. If it wasn't for music, I'd be dead or in jail. hundred okay. percent. Music wow. saved my life. Yeah. Um, so, oh, just in time. Any, any closing thoughts on um, any more call? We had some great call to actions and, and such, but yeah. uh, we got to wrap up. Any, anything you guys want to add for our viewers? Anything you want to say? Um, um, I don't know. No? No. <laughs> Go well, follow Marshmallows Hope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah follow, follow Marshmallows, Marshmallows Hope, TikTok, TikTok, all Instagram, of the stuff. all the stuff. Um, but no, in all in all reality, if you or a loved one of yours is struggling with your mental health, please know that you're not alone. Absolutely, um, we are here to support you, and 
we service kids nine to 26, but like, even if you're older than that, we're never going to turn you away. We will refer mm -hmm. you and get you to the right resources. Um, so just know that there's no shame to it. Right. Yeah. Uh, if you were to fall down, break your leg, you'd go to the hospital. They'd put a exactly. cast on your leg. And then if your bone didn't heal properly, you'd go to physical therapy to strength, strengthen that bone. Right. And no one would judge you. Exactly. No one would be. Exactly. Yeah. And so if you're struggling with your mental health, there's no shame in going to the hospital, getting treatment. And if you still need further treatment, you can go to therapy for it, just like you would physical therapy. So let's yep. let's equalize, um, you know, the importance of mental health. So that's awesome. That's it. Cheers to that. Uh, cheers to our sponsor, Moe's Cafe. I'll have to take you guys to Moe's uh, next time and yeah. have a Pakistani breakfast. Uh, it was delicious. It's a little spicy, but uh, for lunch. Yeah. For lunch, there's the L word. I love, I love, I love Lincoln. <laughs> All right, and uh, scene.